Hi lads, how are you? Um, just continuing on there with the exponential equations from last week, okay? Um, thanks as well for the feedback on Google Classroom that you gave me last week. Mostly positive by people. People are finding the videos working well, which is great. Um, obviously, I think that we'd all prefer to be in, back in the classroom at this stage, really, but... Look, this is the best we can do with Google Classroom and in fairness, people are working well with it. Um, just continue on, I suppose, now for the next five weeks. We're nearly there. Um, and you can contact me by email, um, as you know. Okay, so we'll go through these. Um, so just carrying on from exponential equations. So what we want on both sides, really, is we want the same base number. Looking at 27, I know that my base number is going to be 3. So I'm going to rewrite 27 using 3 as a base. So that's going to be 3 to the power of 3. And that's all to the x minus 2 equals. So that's 3 to the power of 1. Now, 81 can be rewritten as what? 3 to the power of 4. And any time you have a square root, that's the same as the power of a half. Okay? So then it's a power to a power you multiply okay power to a power you multiply so we have 3 to the 3x minus 6 equals now let's start out these brackets first so that's 3 to the 1 multiplied by power to a power you multiply so i'm multiplying the two of these so 4 by half is just 2 so that stays the same 3x minus 6 and when I'm multiplying, you keep the base and add the powers. So you have 3 to the power of 3. Same bases on both sides. As I say, circle, circle, and put them equal. So I have 3x minus 6 is equal to 3. 3x is equal to 3 plus 6. 3x is equal to 9. x is equal to 9 over 3. x is equal to okay carrying on over here so i have 32 to the power of x is equal to 4. same base on both sides is what i'm looking for so my base i'm going to choose is 2. so rewrite 32 using 2 as a base so it's going to be 2 to the power of 5 all to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 2 or 2 squared is the same as 4. power to a power you multiply 2 to the 5x equals 2 to the 2, so that's perfect, and circle, circle, um, so you have 5x is equal to 2, x is equal to 5 over 2, and I kind of leave them as a top heavy fraction, and over here then you're using this answer here to help you solve this one over here, so it's 3, now instead of x I can write 5 over 2 plus y equals so 3 is going to be my base rewrite 81 with 3 as a base it's 3 to the power of 4 okay so same base on both sides so what do we do circle circle so i have 5 over 2 plus y is equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 minus 5 over 2 y is equal to so it's 4 minus 5 over 2 equals so one and a half or three over two okay so they are similar to the ones that we were doing last week it's more so the substitution ones i want to show you uh, moving on then next example number three okay so right sorry then so write five to the x plus three and 5 to the x plus 5 to the x in the form k by 5 to the x, where k is an element of n. So that just means I want a normal number here multiplied by 5 to the x, okay? So let's split out this one. So this is like we're working backwards. When do I add the powers? As we said, you're, when you're multiplying, you add the powers. So if I had 5 to the x multiplied by 5 to the 3, if I had that normally, you would know, multiplying, add the powers, okay? So, you're kind of going back a step now. So, I would have 5 to the power of 3 is 125 by 5 to the x. So, I have it in this form now, k by 5 to the x. k is 125 multiplied by 5 to the x, okay? So, that's that one done. The next one is 5 to the x plus 5 to the x. So how many of them do you see? I see one, two, 
so it's 2 by 5 to the x okay and that's done then I want to solve solve this one here using what I've just done okay so rewrite 5 to the x plus 5 to the x what did I get that to be so that's the same as that so it's 2 by 5 to the x so put in your dot there to show you're multiplying or you can use brackets if you like equals instead of this one it is going to be same as that up there so it's 1 2 5 by 5 to the x and that's multiplied by y plus 3 okay brackets mean multiply so it's going to go multiplying by those two so I have 2 by 5 to the x equals 1 2 5 by 5 to the x multiplied by y plus 3 multiplied by that so I'm going to just check on my calculator what's 125 multiplied by 3 375 by 5 to the x now if you look the whole way across what do you notice you can actually divide the whole way across by 5 to the x that cancels out of everything why am I allowed to do that because it's multiplied into everything so what are we left with 2 equals 125y plus 375. We can easily just solve that. So it's 2 minus 375 equals 125y. So it's 2 take away that. So it's going to be minus 373. So my final answer then, y is going to be minus 373 over 125. Okay, so the main thing there is if you have something like this or like this one here, oh sorry, up here, you're working backwards. So when do you add the powers? When you're multiplying, you're kind of splitting it out. Okay, two more examples to go through for this class, lads. Um, I must put in my numbers there. What did I say I would pick? I said I would do 81 and 82. Yeah, okay. So I just want to give you different examples and what's in the book. So let's have a look. So solve by substitution. Now you mightn't be told that it's substitution, but it is, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is work backwards from this. So it's going to be three to the X and I'm going to take my squared outside. So breaking that up, remember a power to a power, you multiply them. Minus 82 by three to the X plus 81 equals zero. Now, that should look somewhat familiar to you lads. Something squared, something and a number. Okay, so it's actually a quadratic. So you're gonna solve by substitution. So instead of three X, I'm gonna let that equal to Y. So let three X equal to Y. So everywhere you see a three X, you put in your Y squared minus 82 Y plus 81. And that looks a little way better. We're used to those y squared y in a number or x squared x in a number okay straight to brackets so two numbers are multiply to give me 81 and add up to minus 82 so if our y's are fine you can use your minus b formula here if you like but there's really no need for these simple ones you have your 81 and your 1 and a minus and a minus okay so y minus 1 equals 0 y equals 1 y minus 81 equals 0 y equals 81 but don't stop there, right? Because you're actually looking for x. You're not looking for y. You just use that for your substitution. So I'm going to go back up here then. And I have to kind of solve this twice now. So 3x is equal to y. So the first value I got for y was, uh, we'll just go with 81 because you'd normally put that first. It doesn't matter. So 3 to the x is equal to 81. How would I solve that? Get the same base on both sides. So 3 to the x is equal to 3 to the 4. Circle, circle, x is equal to 4. Okay, and the other one, 3 to the x is equal to y. What was the other value? I got a 1. So 3 to the x is equal to 1. So 3 to the x equals. Now 3 to the power of what gives me 1? Remember from your log rules, anything to the power of 0 gives me 1. Circle, circle, x equals zero okay so you're solving that by substitution one more for today so we're going to solve and verify okay so this is done in a similar way so we're going to break that up so it's going to be five to the x to be squared 
minus 26 by 5 to the x plus 25 equals 0. And I'm looking and I'm saying, right, that 5x anyway, I'm going to say let 5x to the power of x equal y. So anyway, I say my 5x, I'm going to sub in my y. So I have y squared minus 26y plus 25 equals 0. Go straight to brackets. So I get a y and a y, 25 and a 1, minus, minus. So you get y minus 25 is 0, y is 25, y minus 1 is 0, y is 1. Same thing over here, I'm going to split it. And I have 5 to the x is equal to y. So 5 to the x is equal to 25, 5 to the x is equal to 5 squared, x is equal to 2. 5 to the x is equal to y, 5 to the x is equal to 1, and 5 to the x is equal to 5 to the 0, x is equal to 0. Now I went through that quickly because it's just saying the same as the one above. And those are your two answers. Now, if you were asked to verify your answer, what would you do? Any time you see verify, what would I like you to do? Sub it in. Okay, if you see verify, coordinate geometry or algebra, wherever, usually it means sub it in. Okay, so where do we sub it in? Back to, the, back to this one here. So we have 5 to the 2x, which should say verify your answers there because we've got two answers. So 5 to the 2x minus 26y, 5 to the x plus 25 is equal to 0. And we're going to do it out twice. But first we're going to do it with a 2. So we have 5, 2 by 2, minus 26, 5 by, part to the power of 2, plus 25 is equal to 0. And I'm going to put that into my calculator. And I have it, here's one I prepared earlier, 5 squared, 2 minus 26, all the way there, equals to 0. So you get 0 equals 0, and just write the word for yourself, trick that you're happy that that's correct. If you've got a different number here, um, you, it wouldn't be correct. You'd have to reject one of them then. So then do the other one out. So it's 5, 2 to the 0, minus 26, 5 to the 0, plus 25 equals 0. So put all that into your calculator. There it is. Okay, so you sub it in and you get 0 equals 0, which is true as well, that you're happy with that. Okay, so questions for today, um, page 479, I'll write this up on Google Classroom anyway, 479, question 4 to 9. Alright, thanks lads.